So welcome back to part three. In this episode, we're gonna do the timing chain and make sure the timing is correct. First thing we've got to do is put the cam tray back on. Okay, so be aware there are these little gaskets which uh, sit in here before you uh, put the cam tray back on. So that's the underside. So we're gonna do that and put the cam tray back on. Before we do that, we have to replace uh, these hydraulic lifters and the uh, followers. Just put in the cam carrier on and before you bolt it down, make sure that these dots are lined up. So you've got one on the left and two on the right. And so when they're in that position, you know the cam carrier is in the correct position for timing. So now we're gonna put the tool on. So this is the locking tool and it just slots on uh, like so. And now I'm going to tighten up these fixings. Now, these are 13 one three newton meters on each one so uh, i'll do that and come back on camera right so what i've had to do is to uh, chock the engine on the engine stand because of this engine mount that we were using to support the engine on the crane blocks uh, the pin right this is where the most crucial part really occurs we're going to put the chains on and we make sure the timing's right so we've already got the clamp at the top those two uh, marks are, are aligned. I put the bracket back on the fuel pump because that's now done its purpose. This mark on the fuel pump sprocket needs to align with that nodule there and then using this part of the timing toolkit when you put this on here it tells the crank the crankshaft position and that has to be perfectly aligned to put a 10 mil bolt in there so I know that's correct I know that's correct. Now I'm going to put the chains on. So when it comes to putting this top sprocket on, you make sure that these uh, long groove areas where the, the bolts go through have got, are in the middle of the hole. So you, later on, you're going to adjust this slightly. So you want to adjust it on both sides. So you're going to put that on and loop it around the sprocket on the fuel pump. And then you need to play with the position of this by moving till the holes are all in the middle of these grooves, like so. So now we're just gonna finger tight these bolts. I'm gonna put the guides in. So torque settings, uh, these guides should have some Loctite in them, and these are 20 newton meters each. So that's your 20, 20. Struggling with one hand here, but uh, 20. 20. All right, so now guides are in. These are talked up 20, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10. That is five newton meters plus 90 degrees, and that's anti clockwise. And this is 65 newton meters. We can now pull this pin and we can now put this in. Now, attention now, that goes to 70 newton meters on the torque. And then we're going to take off. Our timing tool, put the sump on and put the timing cover on. I'll, I'll come back to you after we've done that. Right, we've got the uh, chain cover back on and the sump back on and uh, these are all torqued to 10 newton meters. So when the flywheel's on, we need to pin the flywheel using this locator tool. It goes through there into the flywheel and when that's in its position and pinned we'll lock these down and then the car's time so let's get this flywheel on it right so the new flywheel on and compared to the last one there's obviously a lot less play this dot i put on there because on the other side is the key way or the little hole where the key way goes so it's very heavy and it's just easier to know uh, to locate it. it's a lot easier to do that i now need to put this turn the engine so that, that pin is located right so what we've got now then is this is pinned uh you can just about see through here where it's going to go in but that's pinned so that's not going to move uh we have tightened these down so what i'm going to do now is take the locking tool off take the pin out and rotate the engine to make sure that we are in fact timed. Now a diesel engine is a very high compression engine, so we had to put the brand new glow plugs in. 
So that means we're not going to get any compression uh, to make it easier to turn. Now in the tool kit, the, uh, the locking tool kit, we've got this funny looking thing and that goes on there and that gives me a 10 mil nut to turn so I can rotate the engine. I'm going to rotate the engine to make sure that the uh, timing is as expected. Now if I, I, I come against resistance and I can't take it further and then the valves are actually touching pistons so that's what we don't want. This is turning freely though so I can be confident that the timing is correct. So that's great news. The next job then is to put the clutch back on, put the gearbox back on and build up the rest of the uh, engine so I can put it back in the car.